Hey everyone, today I'll be telling about one of the many adventures that I had when I was at the young age of 13, and this particular one involves me uh, making a pretty bad decision uh, when left home alone, um, in my garage actually. So without further ado, let's jump in. The soft splatter of raindrops trickled down the window pane as I dully gazed out of it. My parents and younger brother were preoccupied with various errands on that particular lazy Saturday, leaving me home alone, very unoccupied, and very bored, which it turns out can be a quite a dangerous combination for a 13-year-old boy. Slowly rising from my slothful position on the sofa, I began to meander around the house to search for any activity that could alleviate my intense boredom. I wanted to enjoy one of my favorite pastimes of kickball, but I had no idea how to enjoy this without any friends nearby to play with. The dismal shower of rain sprinkling the brown, dead grass outside prevented me from venturing into the yard to play by myself. Right when I thought all hope was lost and that I would perish of boredom, ding! A light bulb went off in my conniving head as I looked toward the garage door, grinning from ear to ear. Bare feet pattering on the cold, hard ground, I slinked like a Cheshire cat into the empty, frigid garage with nothing but the steady cascade of rain echoing against the metallic door to keep me company. I flipped on the lights, which illuminated the entire garage in a flood of white from the rod-shaped LED lights on the ceiling, which I soon realized are quite costly. My bright, sports car red kickball conveniently sat right beside me on the cool floor of the garage, which I promptly scooped up and set on the floor about 10 feet in front of me. My blood pumped with excitement, and my heart raced as I stepped back, took a running start, and kicked the ball as hard as I could. Wham! The ball ricocheted off the wall like a rocket and came screaming back at me, which I promptly caught midair, leaving myself feeling like a super cool ninja with unmatched reflexes. After a couple minutes of daydreaming about how it would look as a ninja, I wondered, hmm, how high could I possibly get the ball? I lined the ball back up again and positioned myself for another kick. I bolted forward as fast as I could and landed my foot squarely for a mighty blow against the ball. Instead of the familiar wham the ball usually made when it bounced off the wall, my ears filled with a sickening smash as the missile I had just launched collided into the ceiling. As I watched in horror, the ball made direct contact with the LED lights on our garage ceiling, instantly shattering them into a million little shards. In slow motion, I saw the air in front of me enveloped in sharp white glass fragments as the broken bulb rained from the ceiling and landed on the hard floor with a deafening crash. As I processed the colossal mess I had just caused, a wild fear began to swell up inside of me as I thought of all the potential consequences of my actions. In the blink of an eye, I rushed inside to grab some shoes to protect my bare feet and whisked back outside with a broom in hand. After several minutes of careful cleaning, I had managed to clean up the seemingly endless shards of broken glass, which I carefully placed in thick grocery bags and disposed of in the bottom of our trash can. As I observed my handiwork, I began to wrestle with an internal conflict. Should I tell mom and dad about what I've done? They would certainly be cross with me because of my foolish actions and make me pay for the costly bulb, which would set me back significantly on my quest to save up for the new and expensive Lego set I've been wanting. I could lie to them if they ask and say that the bulb had never been there in the first place. Surely they wouldn't notice. But on the other hand, it was wrong to lie to my parents and cover up my mistake. Could I live with myself knowing that I had been dishonest? As I pondered over these things, my heart began to race as I heard the hum of an engine and my mother pulled into the driveway. I nervously slipped inside just in time as she pulled into the garage. My forehead dampened with sweat as I heard her slowly get out of her car and walk, one by one, up the steps to my house. As she entered, I began to cry in spite of myself, much to my chagrin. My mother quickly set down her purse and asked a confused look on her face. What's wrong, buddy? After another second of consideration, I timidly confessed to everything, except the part about my ninja daydream. That was a little embarrassing. After pouring it all out to her, she calmly sat me down and told me how proud of me she was that I told the truth. Unfortunately, I still had to pay for the light, but I had learned a valuable lesson. It's always worth it to be honest. Choosing whether or not to be honest or to lie shapes the kind of people we become. And if I had lied about something small like the broken light, I may have chosen to lie about something big in the future. Do you want to be known as a liar or as someone who tells the truth? That day I decided that honesty is the best policy after playing in the worst kickball game of my life.